Can I just say, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely stunning. Is what Laura said to me on our first date as I met up with her. <laughs> when Stu talk, first told us about Laura, we headed out for a few drinks with her and I was pleasantly surprised that A, she actually existed and B, he had managed to pull someone as nice as Laura, which got me thinking there must be some baggage here and then she ended up telling me she's from Wigan, which answered everything. <laughs> I, Laura Marie Reynolds, take you, Stuart Stanley Hoff, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till, till death, death do us part. part. Got to be clean on it. Yeah. <laughs> All heated bacon butties in full bridal outfits. Downton Abbey. Downton yeah. Abbey style. <laughs> he once left half a ton of Kango, Tango Pop Pink Cricket Club for three hours while we went playing dirt. And he came back and finished it. Yeah, Grassing on his brother on a snag yeah. yeah. Crying at the altar. Crying. I'm not saying it's tight, but draw your own conclusion, really. Isn't it? In, you probably know in 2007, now well, Laura first went to Australia. Uh, she sent me word back, she'd uh, met these two lads from Bolton. I said, well, thank the Lord it weren't St. Helens. <laughs> but she said one of them was gay. I thought, well, my mind bottles. <laughs> Anyways, it's happened, it's not Stu, as you can see. Thank you for making me what feels like the happiest man alive. I'll love you forever and will be there for you. And I just want to give you a kiss now. <laughs> We can just raise our glasses one more time to toast the bride and groom to Stu and Laura. Stu and Laura.